So you want to start your own business as a general contractor, but you haven't purchased any tools yet and you're not real sure where to start and which tools to buy. I'm going to make it real easy for you. I'm going to give you the top five tools that you need to go out and buy in order to start your business. Let's go. Number one, the first tool that you're going to need to go out and buy is a drill, a simple drill. You're going to be drilling a lot of holes. Um, you're definitely going to need a drill. You don't have to buy the most expensive one. I also wouldn't buy the cheapest one because it's probably not going to last you long. Uh, but you're definitely going to be drilling a lot of holes as a contractor. So this is going to be your number one purchase. Number two, an impact driver. As a general contractor, you're going to be running fasteners pretty much all day, every day. So you need to have a good impact driver to complete that task. If you're trying to do it with a drill, you're just going to be wasting a lot of time and a lot of energy and end up in the long run wasting a lot of money. That's why an impact driver is number two on the list of the tools that you need to buy. Number three, the oscillating multi-tool. This tool is an invaluable tool. It's very versatile. You can do a ton of different tasks with this tool. Um, it comes with a variety of different attachments, different size blades, different materials that it'll cut through. You can get into very, very small, um, hard to reach areas that no other tool can. Um, this is a very, very good tool for demolition when you're trying to cut out drywall and not make a huge mess. Um, and pretty much if you're going to be a remodeling contractor, this is a necessity for you. You can cut trim with it. You can cut underneath doors with it. You can plunge cut with it. There are so many different things that you can do with this tool. That's why this tool is number three on your list to buy. Number four, the reciprocating saw. This saw is also a very, very versatile tool. It comes with a different variety of blades, different materials that it'll cut through. It can get into very hard to reach places. This is a go-to tool for demolition. You can cut walls down with this. You can cut through drywall. You could cut through steel. You can cut pretty much through anything. Uh, anytime you have a demolition project, you're gonna need one of these. Um, also, if you are cutting a piece of wood and you don't make it all the way through, say with a circular saw or something like that, this can also finish your cut. So that's why this tool is number four on the list of tools that you need to buy. Number five, the circular saw. The circular saw is going to be one of your best investments as a general contractor. You're going to be making a lot of custom cuts, whether it's building walls, building decks, or whatever it is on the job site that you're going to need a saw to take care of that specific task. You can get away with learning how to operate a circular saw to hold off on the purchase of a table saw. Now, I'm not saying this takes the place of a table saw, but you can definitely save your money by purchasing a circular saw over a table saw to start with because pretty much a circular saw is basically a handheld table saw is really all it is. So if you develop a decent skill level using a circular saw, you can get by for a while just using this over a table saw. Now I'm not saying you don't ever need a table saw, but for starting off, because the table saw is a pretty big investment and you're trying to save money. Also, sometimes a table saw requires more than one person and it definitely requires a truck to transport from job site to job site. This I can carry by myself and I can get anywhere I need to because it's nice and compact. So that's why this is the number five tool that you need to purchase to start your business. So there it is. These are the top five tools that you need to go purchase in order to start your contracting business. I hope this video was informative. I hope it helps somebody. 
make a decision on what they need to do. There's a lot of tools out there. There are very specific tools for very specific jobs. These are my five tools that I recommend to you to get your construction business up and running and start making money. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll see you next time.